Hello, my name's Karen. I'm the product manager for Conga Approvals. In this recording today, we're going to show you the differences between the My Approvals page that existed on the Salesforce platform and the new and updated My Approvals page on the Conga platform. So to begin with, I'm going to um, go to the Salesforce platform and I'm going to be switching between the two windows to demonstrate the differences between different aspects of the My Approvals pages. So to begin with, um, you'll notice that the landing page is different. So on Salesforce, when I click the My Approvals button, I'm brought to My Approvals, and I can see a, a couple of the approvals that have been assigned to me. Um, whereas on the Conga platform, I can see that I've got a screen of all the approvals. And the way to navigate between the two views is to use our drop down at the top here. I can see all approvals and then assigned to me. Whereas on Salesforce, I got the two tabs where I can go to all approvals and then the view the ones that are assigned to me. That's the first difference. Our second difference is how we reassign approvals. For example, on Salesforce, I can see that there's a request that's assigned to me. And to reassign it, I can hover over the dots and then click on the reassign approval button. I get my pop-up modal. I can then search for a user, type in their name, and then save it. And that will update the assignee. On source, I can click on this request here. I can click on George. I click the reassign button. And then again, I can search for the user and then type in their name and then save who the new assignee will be. To add an approver on Salesforce, similar. I can hover over the dots and then click on the plus icon. And then I get my modal to add an approver and the sequence on Conga platform. I click on the request, click on the kebab menu, and then click that add approval button where I get my modal where I can add the user and the sequence and then hit save. To select a request, I can then just click on the individual request and you can see I then get this checkbox that opens up, uh, which we'll go into in just a minute. And then similar on Salesforce. It's all done via the checkboxes. So I can action all the um, requests that have a checkbox against them. And then if I wanted to select all, I can click on this uh, actionable request six. Whereas on Salesforce, uh, sorry, on Conga, once I've selected one, I can then click on my select all checkbox at the top of the screen. To recall approvals, I can click on the kebab menu and then click recall. And then I get my modal to provide a reason. To recall, I need to go to the approvals page, not the my approvals page. So I can go back to our record. So to recall from Salesforce, I need to go into preview again. And then it's from the preview page. I get the recall button. And then I can click recall. But now from the sales uh, from the Conga page, it's all done through the My Approvals page. So there's no need to go back to the preview page again to recall the approvals. Um, to take bulk action, similar to what we've already set up, I can click on one request. And then I can click the approve. So in this case, I'm going to take action on four requests. Or on Salesforce. Again, I've got six selected. I can select them all and then click the approve button. So pretty similar way to use the bulk app approvals there. And this works the same for reject. The next difference is our display fields. So we can see here for this approval request, I've got the agreement value, the term, the support exhibits, and the payment terms. On Conga platform, I can see if I click onto a request, I get the metadata in this component in the middle. So I've got the effective date, currency, sequence, uh, subsequence, uh, but I also get it in a quick view within the uh, approvals request on the left. So I can see the config date here and the currency. So this way I can see a view for all the requests or I can get additional information in the component in the middle. Approval details. That's now all stored within this component in the middle. And then on Salesforce, I was seeing that in line with the request. So I had sequence, subsequence, status, 
uh, assignee, delegates, and approval history. This is now all shown uh, in the component in the middle. The approval notes is what acts as our history now. So from here, I can see a, a clear picture of who, who left the notes or the comment, what it was, the time, and the date. This was all stored in the approval history comments box on the right hand side. So now I get a clearer component of all that information in the middle. Next difference we're going to go through is the assignee and the step description. So if I go back to Salesforce, I can see I've got my step name here and the assignee. So this is assigned to my sales manager and then to Larry. And now this is all just viewed from the component on the left. So I've got my step name and the assignee, and then I get the avatar that's also shown within the approval request component. And then the last difference is how we view all our requests. So we can see here, we've got a couple of standard processes, some sub processes. Uh, I can click on this expand and collapse all button. So you can see now I see everything at a grouped level or I can click expand, where now I get all the details of all the assignees within that, um, within that sub process. Thank you for watching.